All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Just a quick Fedora 25 update. Um, on my actual desktop computer, my AMD uh, six core system running in a Phenom 2 X6, um, I blew it up. So I had Fedora 25 beta installed and everything was working fine. I decided since I have an Nvidia card in there that I would update the Nvidia driver. Now it already had an Nvidia driver installed um, but I decided I would update it so I updated the Nvidia driver I rebooted the system and uh, it actually I think the first time it did come up but basically everything would freeze so I decided to reboot it again but unfortunately since everything was frozen and I couldn't do a thing uh, I had to reset it cold which was unfortunate because it didn't come back up after that so I wanted to put out a warning if you're on Fedora 25 and you're using the Nvidia drivers be careful um, if the one that's installed is working you may want to go with that now I did notice something interesting I just did an update on Fedora 25 on my system and the system that I'm on right now is on Lenovo Yoga 2 and it has a built-in Intel uh, video driver uh, video I should say and it was really interesting because during the update I saw something get installed which I found really strange so let me see if I can list it here in the command line yeah there it is uh, tools yeah right here um, this particular package was installed and I found that interesting um, so I don't have the NVIDIA card but um, an NVIDIA driver now specifically if you look at this package uh, I have a tool called handbrake and handbrake of course is used to convert videos between different types of video uh, or you could convert audio if you wanted to I suppose but it looks like Handbrake has installed an NVIDIA driver so that it can use the CUDA cores that are available in uh, an NVIDIA um, enabled GPU so it would theoretically speed up processing so found that pretty interesting I don't know if that would have any effect now I don't have the NVIDIA card so I can't be sure if that was the problem or what it was but at any rate, uh, now that we're live on Fedora 25, my next step is to, I think what I'm going to do is try to do an install into the same partition, uh, see if I can keep my data files. There really wasn't anything on there that I'm concerned about. Most stuff that I deal with, I keep in the cloud anyway, so I have my documents backed up, so I'm not even worried. Um, that system also is a dual boot. It has uh, two SSDs in it, one for Windows and one for Linux. And then it has a four terabyte storage drive, which I have not been able to get operational Linux. So in a coming video, I'm going to reinstall Fedora 25. I'm going to attempt to install the NVIDIA driver after doing all the updates and see if I can get that working and then see if Fedora 25 is finally supporting a four terabyte hard drive. Now I want to preface that um, Fedora does uh, support four terabyte hard drives. When I say that, what I mean is support four terabyte NTFS hard drives that are already formatted and have data on them. Yes, I could wipe the drive and turn it into an EXT3 or 4 drive, but the problem is I have all my data on it and I don't want to wipe it. And the drive, of course, works perfectly fine in the Windows partition. So my goal is to get that drive uh, to be visible in both Fedora 25 and Windows 10 so that I can go back and forth and I can use it as a backup drive or a storage drive for anything that I'm doing. So just a couple of thoughts on Fedora 25. Um, the other thing that I'm having a problem with is uh, Voco Screen. For some reason, it's dropping frames in the GNOME desktop. So everything's fine as far as the uh, KDE Plasma desktop goes. That's why I'm in Plasma right now. But I am having some drop frames in GNOME, which I never got before. So I'm not sure if it's number one, the newer version of Voco Screen, which went up to 2.5.0. 
uh, or if it's Fedora 25. My suspicion is it's Boko Screen's fault because the previous edition worked just fine. So I really think that's what it is. Um, and I was on beta at the time too, so everything was working fine. But keeping in mind with beta, I was getting tons and tons of updates, so it's hard to say. Uh, but I'll do more testing and I'll keep you updated. So watch out for those NVIDIA drivers and good luck on Fedora 25, everybody. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.